There it is, guys. Right there. What is it going to be? Boy, it's going to be a half dollar for sure. Well, good morning, everyone. On the road today, headed down to Central Louisiana. We're going to meet up with my good friend Bayou Diggs, and we're going to go back over and hit some spots with uh, with my manicure that I've. Uh, uh, we've done before, done a lot of videos on the circus grounds. We got permission on some new property, a new school, so another new where our circus was at this school, and uh, some more where some old home sites were. So we're going to have a lot of fun with it, hoping to take the manicure and find some stuff where maybe the Equinox had missed it. We'll see, we'll see. But we're going to have a lot of fun with it. We're going to play Relic uh, Roundup, not Relic Roundup, but Relic Bingo as well. This is a game that uh, Benjamin came up with. We played water bingo before, and uh, we're going to see who can win that. And also, uh, a trophy is going to be given out at the end of the day for the Weedy King. We're going to kind of copy Plugmaster Ford and Missouri Mike, and we're going to do the Weedy King today and see who can get the most Wheaties and get a trophy at the end of the day. So I've got a little bit further to go, so you guys sit back, enjoy the ride, and I'll see you when we get there. Guys, we are on location and got Mr. Bayou Diggs here. Hello, welcome again. And we are back out here at what we call the circus grounds. Actually, circus grounds on down that way, but we've got some new areas that we're going to hit today. Uh, we're going to hit uh, what we're going to hit, Bayou. Well, we've got this one. We've got a former schoolyard, baseball field, and I, there was a circus there too at one time. And uh, I've got a new permission on the other side of town. So hopefully. so we're going to get on some good stuff today, hopefully. And we're also going to play a little Relic Bingo. Check this out. Benjamin came up with this. Field Relic Bingo. Glass marble buckle, one cent, pull tab, bullet, horseshoe, spoon, milk glass, silver coin, fork, five cents, clock. Look at all the things that we're going to try to do. And we're gonna I'm on the board already. Where's, on the board already. Where's bullet? We got a bullet somewhere. I don't know. There it is. Lead bullet right there. All right. There's his. No, that was from yesterday, so I can't use that. We'll do mine. But I also have another little surprise that Benjamin doesn't know. So let me go get it. Check this out. We are gonna play the Weedy King today. <laughs> so whoever gets the most Wheaties today is gonna win the Weedy King trophy. I like it. And uh, <laughs> and so if we if we tie with the same amount of Wheaties, we it will have to go to whoever is the oldest Wheatie is going to win it. Okay. And then the next time we meet up again, you'll bring it back, and we'll do it. We'll see who wins again on the next one. <laughs> so we're going to have a lot of fun with Relic Bingo and the Wheatie King. So let's get out and let's get to swinging. All right, Benjamin's calling me over. Don't know what it is. Let's check it out. What do you think it is? It's another one of those buttons. The other one came from right there. I had a good solid 16 on the knots oh, right yeah. here. Look at that. Check that out. Oh, it's still got some. It's still got some gold on it. It's another one of those military buttons. Come on, yeah. be a pelican, huh? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Must be a, let's hope it's a pelican. What it ring up on the equinox? 16, 16. all the way. Yes, another, another a, Union Eagle. All right. Check uh, that out. The other one came from just right there. So they could have been right here in this corner too. We found a lot of stuff of, of uh, Civil War relics here. That's still in good shape. Got the shank oh, yeah. and all. Looks great. Yeah. Got some water? No. Here you go. Hold it right there. And we'll put a little holy water on it. I got a little 
Oh gosh, look at the condition that's in. Check that out. Great shape. Great shape. Congratulations, man. Yeah. All right, you're on the board again. Mm -hmm. I got a weedy while ago, so nice. I'm on the board. You're, Some milk glass, so game. let's keep going. I was getting a good 69, 70. This is a good shape. Got a number. That's another weedy. I don't know what date that's going to be. I don't know if y'all can tell the date or not. But that's number two. I don't think Bayou's got any yet. So let's keep going. Let's get some silver. Well, I'm back up here in the yard. It used to be an old house set right here. The sidewalk is right over there. We found a lot of stuff in this yard. I just got an 85, popped it up. Check this out. There it is. Right there. Don't know what it is yet. Let's uh, kind of clean it up. It's got rust all over it. Feels kind of like a fob. Hmm. It's got a hole in it. I don't know. Let me do some more cleaning up on it and I'll get back with you. Well, there she is. I'm not really sure what it is. It's got two little things on the back of it. It could have been hooks or or what. I'll have to do some research on that and see what that is. We've dug a lot of Civil War stuff out of here. And so I don't know. Hopefully by the time you're watching this on video, I've already found out what it is. There's no design on it that I can tell. But, uh, hey, I'll take it. It kind of looks and feels Civil War period. All right, let's get a picture. Let's keep on going. Benjamin's saying he's got a brass ring, so let's go check that out. I got some type of little relic. I'm not sure. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Is that on the list? I don't know. <laughs> I hope it so. It should have been. Some jewelry. Yeah. <laughs> that may have a signal. Oh, it's got a little starburst on it. Mm -hmm. Oh, people were here. That's encouraging. What you got? I got that there Ooh, well, that's interesting it's got two little things on it that's hold yeah. i don't know that's interesting so yeah never seen it got out of that front yard right over there we dug a lot of stuff in that yard oh yeah so all right let's keep going i was getting a 89 to a 92 and this thing was tacoed over i straightened it out and right there is the word sterling. You can barely see it, but if you flip it over, you can see it in reverse. So a big piece of sterling silver. Let's clean this up and see what it's going to look like completely clean. All right. There it is, all cleaned up. I have no clue what that might be. There's the back of it. But it's sterling silver. It's pretty. Let's get a picture and let's keep on going. As much as we've hunted up through here with the equinoxes and the old man of core pop this out. Let's keep going. Well, one thing about uh, the man of core I really love is that uh, it gets behind the equinox and other detectors and still pops stuff out. It very well could be we've missed this in the past too because uh, this area is just so huge, so huge. But it's getting a 45, 47. I'm still trying to learn my numbers on this manicor, but it uh, looks like a piece of jewelry. Check this out. Looks like a very old piece of jewelry. Let me clean this up and we'll see what it looks like. All right, there it is. Kind of a circle within a circle. I didn't see any back markings on it. But hey, I'll take it. I'll take it. 
it's pretty it's vintage for sure all right let's get a picture and let's keep on going Well, we moved on from uh, that other spot. Now we're back here in the back of this uh, school grounds. Used to be baseball fields back here, but also another circus back here. And I found the first good target. I've been finding a lot of clad change, but not a lot, no silver yet. But I uh, did find this good little relic. Check this out. That's a good sign. There's something old in here. I believe that's going to be uh, a range guide, maybe. I don't know. Something got some type of little hook. All right, well, that's something. Let's keep on going, see if we can't find a good relic and some uh, good silver. Well, we're back over here where we started at the original circus ground. We didn't find anything at that school, just modern clad and, and, and toy cars, stuff like that. But we're back over here in the big open field and uh, I'm kind of up in here in these trees in the shade. It's a little hot. I was getting a 9091, and uh, it looks kind of good. Let's go check it out. It wasn't all that deep. You can see it right there. It looks like a token. It's going to be a big token. It's going to have some writing on it. Yeah, this is going to be a hopefully a good token. Let's, uh, let me clean this up and I'll get back with you. Well, check that out. Good for $1 on a tire and lube. 9091. That's going to be at... Is this G-A-I-E-N? G-N-E-N? Maybe Oakbert or Oak Duet? I can't, I don't know. Tire and lube filling station. At least we got some information on this. We'll be able to research this and find out when this was, but that's a cool find. I just showed Bayou Diggs this token, and he pointed out right there on the very bottom, it says Le Comte Louisiana. It's the way it's spelled, but it's, it's pronounced Le Comte Louisiana. And that's the town that I'm in today. This is a local token out of all the things. And so that's even better when you could dig a, a local token. Now I'm just going to kind of figure out who this, uh, this French name, these are French words up here. I can't say who they are. And uh, kind of date that. I would say about 1930s, 1920s, I would think. Oh, local token, $1. All right, let's keep going for another one. I always love tokens. I found that one in Jefferson not too long ago. Now I got this one right here. There may be a few more in here, so let's keep looking. Let's get a picture and keep on rolling. Finally, I got an 81, about four inches deep, popped it up, and out on the bottom side of the plug, I can see silver. I don't know what it is. Let's check it out. Check that out right there. What's it gonna be? Looks like a Merc. Yeah, it's gonna be a Merc. Mercury Dime. Let's see what year this is going to be. 19, who was an early one? 1919? Is that what it says? I can't say, tell out here in the sun glare. Looks like 1919 to me. Oh, that's close. See if we got a mint mark on it. I can't tell. Oh, I'll take that, man. All right, if there's one, there's got to be more. So let's keep on looking. See if we can't find a sister or two. You guys are not going to believe this. I was getting a real scratchy, anywhere from a 74 up to a 91. And uh, dug down about 8 inches, popped up the last little piece, and in the bottom of the hole I saw silver. Bayou Diggs just pulled up. I'm going to wait for him, him to get over here and we're going to reveal this together see what it is. It looks like a half dollar. I thought it was going to be like a quarter, but it's going to be a half. There it is, guys. Right there. What is it going to be? Oh, boy. It's going to be a half dollar for sure. Check that out. What's it going to be? That's going to be the back. I see the eagle. It's going to be a, a walking walker. liberty. A walking liberty. <laughs> Let's see what year that's. Oh, look at the detail. 
What year is that going to be? 45. 19, 1945. Sure enough. Oh, it's in good shape. Not too far from where I found that 1919. These old love bugs are everywhere. <laughs> well, Check they love that you. out. Oh, beautiful coin. In good shape, too. Good shape. Give me five. <laughs> oh, give me five. I didn't know what you were doing. <laughs> well, I'll take the coin. <laughs> yeah, check that out, guys. All right. All right, man. That's Let's gorgeous. keep on swinging and see if we can find another one. Oh, beauty. Check that out, guys. That's awesome, isn't it? I love it. I love it. Let's keep on going. Let's see if we can get some more. I was swinging and I saw a little baby bird. He's still alive. He's not going to make it. Oh, bless his heart. Oh, gosh, I'm just too... Looks like his wing may be broken. He can't fly. I'm not your mama, buddy. I ought to go dig him a worm. I don't see his mom anywhere. He is young. He's just falling out of this nest. Oh, I'm just too soft-hearted. This just tears me up to see this. One side of me wants to get him a worm and let him eat and hopefully his mom will come and the other side just wants to go ahead and put him out of his suffering because he's not going to make it on his own and I don't see his mom anywhere around. She would have been down here pecking my head. She's abandoned this one. Yeah, he don't have any energy to do anything. Bless his heart. Hmm. That's nature for you. I'll be glad when it comes a day when there's no more death, no more pain, no more crying, even for nature. He's so weak. He's just about going now. Mm. Oh. All right, let's keep swinging. I found that uh, half dollar right over there. So I'm just swinging out here. We're fixing to go back to another location. And got this 74. Check that out. You know what that is? I believe that's gonna be a sword hanger. Broken sword hanger. That, yeah, because I can see the little tip right there. I believe that's what's gonna be. The hook hanger part. At least that's what I want to call it. We found those out here before. Alright, let's get a picture and keep on swinging. Well, we made it in by you. We're really sitting right. in the his driveway and uh, we got everything laid out and we wanted to show you, hey, um, who won Relic Bingo? It was pretty close. Nobody bingoed, but we did get very close of filling up the lines and stuff. So let's show you that. All right, we'll start with mine and then we'll go over here and here's Bayou Digs. So we had a good day with it. I did get a coin, a one cent coin, pull tab, the bullets, milk glass. I did get this half dollar. I did get a nickel, toy car. I got a part of a lock and a clock. And then I got a tack, a bottle cap. It wasn't a tax token, but it was a token. So we counted it. So overall, I got 12 different items. And Bayou Diggs got 14. So he beat me by two. He only needed a key, and he would have he would have bingoed this way. Yeah. But he got buckles, coins got the pull tabs he did get a fork no silver coin he did get milk glass and a spoon he got a very nice button he got a watch right on top of the ground he got a nickel toy car buttons very nice late 1800s 1880s lock cover a tack we dug those all day long and a bottle cap yeah. so overall he got 14 and i got 12 so Bayou Digs is the Relic Round, Relic, uh, re what is it? Field Relic Bingo winner. But who won the Wheaties? Who's the Wheatie King? So let's uh, go over here 
And let me put this weedy right there. And Preacher Digger is the weedy king. Yeah. Preacher Digger is going to keep his trophy. But uh, we're going to do this each time we hunt together. And whoever wins is going to get to take it home and, and claim it and have some bragging rights. And then next time we hunt, we'll give it away if we lose it. So anyway, let's uh, show you everything that we found. <clears throat> All right, Bayou, tell me what you got. Well, had an interesting relic day. I think I focused on the relic portion of Phil's relic bingo. Right off the bat, just this beautiful two-piece military button with that gold gilding on it. Very yeah, nice. We'll get a back mark off of it here, sir, here soon, but it's it's intact. Got these buckles here, silver plated, I think. Got a heart locket. This is a little silver part of a two-piece button there as well. One wheat cent, 48, 1948. Uh, broken brass ring. I uh, got the kitchen. I got the uh, fork. The spoon and the knife. And the knife. Two of these big heavy brass uh, water valves. I got a little drawer pull. A whole, uh, I guess it's a cold cream jar with a zinc lid intact. Beautiful little bottle. Nice bottle. Cork, That'll clean up really good. Cork top bottle. You cork know? top, yeah. Probably early 1900s. Well, I got an old lock here. Yeah, that's and 1880s there. Two different parts of watch pieces. Yeah. And this is a, I think, a grill ornament for some. That's probably not teen. I would say not teen thirties. I would say not teen thirties. I'm not sure what that is. It looks like a part of an old grill off maybe a car. One of your, uh, maybe one of your viewers could recognize that. Yeah. Let us know. But then I got the rest of the car there. So there we go. There we are. That was my day. Well, you had a good day, man. Had a great day. Let's see always, what I got. Always fun with you. Here's all my trash. My used trash is down there on the ground. We dug a mess of trash, didn't we? Yeah. Gosh, man. Another bullet. Tons and tons of targets. Yep. That may be an old bullet. Looks like it. But anyway, here's uh, my clad. I got four quarters. I got five dimes, one nickel, and six pennies. I got an old bottle, too, but it's a screw top. And it was laying right beside Bayou's. Got an old lighter. That's probably a Zippo. Uh, I got a range guide, some type of decorative little piece, and something else. I don't know what that is. And a Sacagawea dollar. Then I've got, uh, I'm thinking it could be a sword hanger, or it might be just a part off of a, a gun, gun strap. Uh, we found some sword hangers out there, so I don't know. This looks a little different, but what gets me is this little piece right there. It looks like a sword hanger. Uh, oh, necklace and the bell seal says the SBC on it. I've never seen one of those before. Something else on it. I know that's not Southern Baptist Convention. <laughs> <laughs> it might be. Yeah, I did get Weedy King here, hey. so I retained the trophy. I did get a very nice big piece of silver. Um, I don't know what that is. I got to research that. Get, did get a very good token Wonderful. and this is a local token that we ran uh, I got to do some research on that one and then I did get a 1919 mercury dime and then my find of the day this 1945 walking liberty half dollar oh that's nice I love it when you dig the big halves so there's all the trash and here's all the treasure but the greatest treasure, even though we had a good time today, the greatest treasure isn't what we can come down and dig out of ground and play Relic uh, uh, Bingo and uh, Weedy King. The greatest treasure is what can be found up in heaven. Until we meet again, I just wish everybody happy hunting and God bless.